What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and today we are going to take a look at node number 3 on Dark Dimension 3 and it's going to be another one shot, zero deaths now this time instead of Captain America we are using Hela this is on a free for all part of Dark Dimension 3 so I decided to bring Hela instead of Captain Marvel because the it was a little bit too hard because of uh, with Captain America because of his taunt that uh, you have to use quite often so we had to change the strategy now with Ella it became very interesting and you guys are going to love it we are going to face uh, multiple Miss Marvels at the same time and uh, it's not going to be an issue because the combination of Emma Frost, Ghost and Ella is just uh, insane so as you can see we already have several characters with uh, blind and uh, not only one turn of blind with two turns of blind and that's going to be important very soon so we are facing one uh, miss marvel and uh, we have one psylocke one drax one uh, shield security so many annoying characters but the characters that you always have to take into consideration are the miss marvels and especially probably the most important character that you need to have under control is Psylocke because you don't want her to use uh, her ultimate and throw all the negative effects that you're applying on the enemies onto you so as long as you have uh, Psylocke under control the other ones are fine there is still a, a high amount of burst damage coming from uh, American Chavez and Deadpool and even Spider-Man with his ultimate but it's usually not a problem so as you can see the Psylocke she has stun, she has blind and I keep extending that with the Ghost and that's why Ghost is such an important character you can extend any negative effects that you have on them and then the perfect combination match made in heaven you have a Ghost and Hela Ghost extends the negative effects and then Hela spreads them around so as you can see Drax has blind defense down, offense down heal block, uh, speed down, <laughs> they have everything and uh, with Emma Frost we are able to apply blind which we can spread uh, with uh, Hela so you right now you can take a look at uh, all the nuances and all the good movements I did throughout uh, this because this is at 50% extra speed so you cannot pay attention to all those details but there are some insane gameplay going on here and uh, having these characters under control all the time and make sure the right character has this route on so you can do whatever you want and then Emma Frost removing those towns is uh, is just quite nice and uh, yeah so it all becomes a matter of keeping everything under control and look at that I have another stun with uh, Black Widow that I'm even not going to use we already have two characters under stun and I could have a third one or even a fourth one and uh, yeah that's why this team is so powerful the core of this team is uh, what's her name Emma Frost, Ghost and Black Widow applying slows, applying stuns, get, uh, getting speed up and so on that gives us a huge control and uh, once again I was having these weird spikes for some reason but luckily it was only on uh, uh, last week this week I didn't experience any of that so yeah, here we already have another character with stun, so we have three characters under stun and uh, there I didn't consume the ultimate because you, you really want to think exactly what you are doing and this is like a chess game, you are facing like 10 enemies at the same time you really want to consider what you are doing and to make sure that uh, you don't uh, use one ability that you are going to require a few minutes later so yeah, three enemies down for now there is a lot more to come as you can see but as we go through we'll be able to do this quite fast and uh, now Deadpool lost his stun but that's fine that was on purpose because there's no need uh, for him to be stunned anymore because he's going to get uh, he's going to die so no problem there so we have the second wave and uh, now what we want to do is to remove the town from uh, Drax and uh, now we can uh, spread all those negative ar effects around but before that I want to get the next wave otherwise I will have two little characters and uh, 
it won't be as efficient as it could be. So I get the second I try to get the second wave. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. It took way too long. So I had to waste the ultimate with the Ella and spread it only for half of the enemies. So I put myself a little bit on danger, but it was something that uh, I would uh, have to do anyway. Otherwise, I would waste one turn with Ella. Maybe it would be possible because I had speed up on her or I got uh, after. But it was a huge risk and it could compromise uh, the entire try. So we have a few dangerous characters. We have once again Deadpool. Deadpool with his special is quite annoying and especially the ultimate. If you count the turns, if you count like he had one turn and he had other turn, that's fine. But not everyone can do that. So I, I like to do it. I do that a lot when I face uh, Jessica Jones, but with other characters, it's like whatever and uh, other people might uh, think like it's <laughs> too hard or something like that so yeah it's something you can do but it's up to you if you want to do it, to do it or not so other characters that you want to take into consideration also to stun is and this is another character that you should count turns is spider-man that uh, after his special when he applies the defense down to everyone you have to be careful for the stun if you get a stun in a character it can be very dangerous and uh, you don't want that situation to happen so here once again we have all those blinds we have uh, all those stuns and uh, we need to remove those taunts from the shield security and also from drax and uh, yeah, as long as you can do that and keep spreading the blinds around and uh, you always want to be careful with the uh, Black Panther as well so he doesn't change too much on uh, your Gregs. So it depends because you don't have Captain America here and you really don't want to risk uh, using the town to with the uh, stature. You have to have all that into consideration which of the characters you want to stun. And uh, yeah, so I like to stun sometimes Spider-Man especially because if you attack him and he dodges, he will give turn meter to Miles and to himself. So if he is stunned, then he cannot do that anymore and you can focus on Miles and on the other characters as well. Now I tried to one shot this node in the past and uh, I was very very close of doing it. And the team I was using before was, instead of having Ghost, uh, and uh, stature i was using uh, minerva and someone else i can't remember maybe yo-yo and uh, back then uh, the the strategy i was using was to get hella dead as fast as possible and then revive her and uh, then uh, have uh, greg spawning over and over again but it's uh, very very rng dependent and uh, of like uh, 20 tries or 30 tries I was only able to do that uh, maybe five times max it's very very RNG dependent and as you can see right now it's not we have uh, everything under control we have uh, multiple characters stand we don't have any Miss Marvel on the field now so that's a huge advantage so we are not getting all those chain attacks because whenever like for example American Chavez or someone else gets an assist from uh, Miss Marvel, Ghost is not able to apply offense down to them, so you'll take full damage. And if it happens that you have, uh, for example, like Ella at low HP or uh, defense down or something like that, it can be deadly. So you need to keep all those characters under control. You don't want any assists going on uh, in the match. And uh, yeah, as long as you have that, as long as those characters are stunned or blind or something like that, you'll be just fine. Okay, so we are uh, almost getting the fourth wave, I think. Yeah, it's the fourth wave. This uh, node comes in packs of six, if uh, I recall correctly. So Deadpool, he got out of the stun, but once again, it's because he's going to die very, very soon. So he's irrelevant. And uh, now we don't have any negative effects. So we need to create a, a new chain and then spread them around. So we have defense down and uh, blind. So now we want to apply some other negative effects so we can extend and spread them around, especially the slow. Right now we don't have the slow ready with the Emma Frost because use the blind. It was a risk we had to take, but that's the way it has to be. So we apply two turns blind to everyone. 
Now the next step, we already done the, the, the Psylock, which is very important. Now the, the next step is to apply the stun, uh, the stun, the slow for the entire team, and uh, then you are good to go. Okay, so now I'm focusing on uh, Black Panther. Even that we don't have like, we don't have any serious character right now that we have to consider. Psylocke is uh, stunned and blind, so we have nothing to worry about. Blind, it only works for a special and for a basic. If, uh, if not, uh, then it's going to be a problem. She doesn't have slow, that's something concerning and uh, we need to apply slow to them once again. And now we are going to use Greg to explode and uh, turn the wine them so we have more time to take care of them. So we are down five enemies, so now we need the next wave to come around. Now I can extend the negative effects and then spread them around with, with the next wave. But I was not sure if uh, Hela had uh, her ultimate ready or not. It seems like she didn't. Now in this specific situation we could actually allow Psylocke to use uh, her ultimate. It's something, it's a, a possibility. And there I use the special with the uh, ghost to apply defense down on the enemies in case it works. And uh, when you apply defense down you lower their resistance and it will be more likely that then you can remove the taunt or uh, some other buff that you want to remove. So as you can see Psylocke she is no longer stunned so it's going to be a huge problem. We need to apply that stun once again or we need to make sure that uh, she doesn't do anything funny. And uh, we are going to do that uh, with uh, Greg with the turn rewind from Ghost and uh, also with uh, having speed up and slow from uh, Emma Frost. So now is, we were able to spread the those blinds with everyone. We still want to take care of Psylocke or we kill her or we keep her under control. Right now it seems that we will not be able to get her under control. So rather just uh, finish her off. And uh, yeah, so now the priority is going to be or Spider-Man or uh, uh, maybe American Chavez because I'm not sure if whenever an American Chavez spawns if she gives them uh, HP up or not. I know that was a bug back in the day but I'm not sure if it still works or not. It was a bug against us, not uh, in our favor. So now we have once again the stun from uh, Black Widow. So I stunned the Spider-Man once again so he doesn't dodge us and doesn't give stun meter to uh, Miles. So now we have all the cooldowns ready. When you are at this point, when you have everything under control, don't waste your cooldowns. You just save them for whenever you need them. This is not like Mortal Kombat. You don't have to spam your buttons all the time. You need to think what you're doing and you need to make sure that you use your abilities at the right times. Otherwise you can compromise your progress and also sell. So you are going to be with the next wave. And yeah, so we are halfway done, 22 enemies left, 20 enemies left, and we have another Miss Marvel. So this is at the point where we'll get two or three Miss Marvels. We already got two on the field and I'm pretty sure that uh, there will come another one. And this is a very dangerous situation. Many people wipe on this node when these two Miss Marvels come at the same time. But that's why we are going to apply blind to them. It's only for two turns, but we are going to extend that and make sure they don't do anything funny. And uh, yeah, that's that's how easy you can make uh, this node. You apply blind and you extend the negative effects with all of them. There are a few characters that have this ability. Ghost, Dr. Octopus, Scarlet Witch, and I think someone else also has it. And this is a very, very powerful ability because exactly of this reason. If you can extend it, your enemies will be locked in that uh, situation and then you can spread it around with the hella and uh, we need some other character that can spread these negative effects around okay so we have uh, still two miss marvels we have uh, two american chavez we have uh, two deadpools we have one spider-man one miles and uh, one drax and one shield security so this is very very tough situation high dangerous situation here so we can't really make any mistake otherwise it can cost us all the progress but yeah so we are going to turn rewind a few 
characters or apply a negative effect. Now let's try. I think I tried to stun. Yeah, he dodged. I tried to stun him, then he dodged, but then I had to come back again and stun him because yeah, that Spider-Man is a little bit dangerous. And I could have blinded him there, and that would uh, save me from his stun. But yeah, and uh, you can take a look uh, now. American Chavez, she did so much damage because there are all these hero brawlers on the field at the same time. The more hero brawlers there are, the more damage she's going to do. And uh, yeah, that's why you need to have her sometimes under control. You have to decide do I want to have under control uh, Deadpool or uh, American Chavez? Early on, American Chavez, but then Deadpool because uh, Deadpool has more powerful abilities after the the first turn. His ultimate is uh, it can be very very dangerous. Even that uh, with the characters that we have on the field, they are beefy to a degree and uh, they are dodgy as well. So yeah. Okay, so let's. Take a look, one of the Deadpool is almost gone, the other American Chavez is almost gone as well, the Miles are almost gone as well. We still have all those negative effects on uh, both uh, Miss Marvels and uh, you are, we are going to use uh, the second one, the one on the left, to spread the, the negative effects around whenever the next wave comes. So we are protected all the time, so yeah. Okay, so I spread everything on everyone. That uh, made sure that uh, this Spider-Man is not going to use his ultimate on me. If he tries, he is going to fail because of uh, blind, of course. Now we have uh, the third Miss Marvel. As you can see, three Miss Marvels at the same time. This is insane. But because I'm not going to be able to blind her, then I have to stun her instead. So. If you don't have the blind, you have the stun, and uh, yeah, that's how we manage three Miss Marvels at the same time, plus Black, Pan Black Panther, plus American Chavez, plus Gamora, all these insane characters all at the same time that uh, always help each other. We were able to beat these with uh, brains, and uh, yeah, that's uh, what you need to do to do Dark Dimension, and uh, yeah, some, some people think, oh, you just come with Phoenix and die and so on. There's no need. You Are you going to spend 30 days doing that or you rather focus on what strategy and uh, use it uh, in order to beat this node? I think it's better to use the strategy. It's up to you. But I think if you are able to get uh, or the, all those rewards that we got from uh, Dark Dimension 3 or Doctor Doom or Ultron or whatever, if you can beat it in uh, five days with strategy, why are you going to take uh, 90 days with uh, no strategy? So yeah, uh, we got uh, the stun gun there on uh, Deadpool, but he's almost dead. We're gonna take aim of him right now, hopefully. Unfortunately, my stature, she is very, very weak. I'm waiting her to be obtainable on the Red Star promotion credits. Unfortunately, um, it, it still didn't come around. And now we have a second Miss Marvel, a second, no, a, no, a third, third. We had three, we got rid of one and we have uh, three once again, but like always, spread that blind, uh, make sure she can do anything, use the Gregs to turn rewind them as much as possible, focus the damage on the enemies that can hurt you, like uh, Black Panther, like Deadpool, like uh, OG Spider-Man, and uh, with that you'll be safe. We have. 12 enemies left, now we are going to extend all those stuns, all those blinds and everything. Look at how many negative effects we have on the field, it's just insane. And uh, yeah, once again, this is using strategy, this is big IQ gameplay, this is whatever you want to call it, but it's a, a way better play, it's way more fun, at least for me. Maybe you don't like to have uh, all this time and uh, effort, because this nodes like in total this was 32 minutes or 33 minutes we are watching this on 50 percent speed so this takes quite a while and uh, if you fail uh, you can see that uh, it can take you a few hours if you fail a few times or if you don't have the right strategy or you don't know exactly which targets to attack first so yeah i can understand that uh, some people don't want to put the effort but i really like it I find it uh, very, very enjoyable. 
And uh, yeah, this is <laughs> this is how you can do it. One shot the node number three on uh, Dark Dimension Three. I have searched for uh, videos of uh, people one shotting this node and uh, one shotting the fourth node and uh, the all nodes after. And uh, I have not been able to find if uh, anyone has a video of uh, one shotting this node. Let me know because I want to compare my strategy with theirs. If they use the Minerva Hella combo, like I was using a few months ago, or if uh, they use uh, something else completely different that I'm not aware of, let me know in the comments below. I'm I'm not I don't want to say that uh, I'm the first, uh, but very likely I was one of the first people to do this. And even if you look at the damage leaderboard, some people don't know this, but the values that are there are not from one shots. You can uh, cheat uh, and appear on the leaderboard as long as your characters are like gaining health and so on. For example, on this node, you can allow Miss Marvel to gain health and it will still count for that leaderboard. And that especially happens on the node after this one, on the fourth node. I talked with a few people that are on that leaderboard and they said uh, that they didn't one shot it, is they just uh, manipulate uh, the damage or something like that. So it was unfortunate because I wanted to be the first. So, but yeah, if you guys know anyone that has a video one shotting this, let me know. If I'm the first, that's gonna be amazing. And uh, yeah, make sure you stay tuned for the next notes coming. I, I, I'm not, I'm uh, on node number seven right now. I almost one shot it, but I'm having a, a bad RNG. And uh, because of school and other things, I don't have too much time to try it, but I will get to work uh, on it uh, very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Node number three on Dark Dimension 3 using my strategy that I'm going to use for Dark Dimension 4. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like always, you know what to do. Smash that like button like a boss. If you're new to my channel and you found the video entertaining, make sure you subscribe, share it with your friends on Facebook, Discord and so on. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good time and I'll see you guys later.